Hi, um, this is Iku Hayashi um, um, from Hamamatsu Research USA. So today uh, I'm presenting a poster titled Pharmacological Modulation of Pain-Related Brain Activation in Non-Human Primate Models of Pain. So uh, in this study, we have developed uh, several um, non-human primate models uh, for pain uh, to um, support the uh, drug research and development activities for uh, analgesics. Uh, the, the reason why we chose uh, non-human primates uh, is that um, non-human primates are much closer to human uh, compared to other preclinical models, and it shares uh, many features, uh, physiological and uh, uh, pathological features with um, human diseases. So in this um, in this study, we have developed uh, models for uh, endometriosis, uh, post-operative pain, and uh, oxyl protein induced uh, peripheral neuropathy, um, neuropathic pain. So the, the main objective of this study is to compare the uh, pain-associated behavior with the pain-related brain activity in each model to see if the, um, the measurement of brain activity can be used as a objective uh, measurement of pain. So um, let's look at the results section. So for endometrious models, we uh, assess the pain behavior using the pressure testing where uh, the pressure was applied to the abdominal region of the animal. So as you can see uh, in the in the graph, so the 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 threshold for the pain uh, related uh, response is reduced, which means the animals uh, experience the pain with the the pressure uh, applied to the abdominal region. So this uh, response was was uh, improved with the morphine administration or DNRGS, which is a hormonal therapy used in the clinic. So these two uh, compounds show the analgesic effects in the behavior testing. So then we tested the, uh, the, uh, the brain activity of the animals using the uh, functional MRI. And as you can see in, the, in the, uh, the figure in the middle section, we can see the, um, the brain activation in the, the region called insular cortex and also the thermos in the animals. And these brain activation was uh, attenuated with morphine or deanogist um, uh, treatment, which is in line with the uh, behavior testing. And for the postoperative pain model, which is in, in the, the bottom, uh, middle bottom of the, the poster, so in this model, the again the pain uh, really pain-associated behavior was assessed with the pressure testing as in the endometrious model. So uh, in this model, we administered the morphine, and uh, the morphine showed the uh, analgesic effect uh, as shown in the bar graph. Um, in contrast, pregabalin, which is also the uh, analgesic used in the clinic, was not efficacious in this particular model as in the in the pain uh, pressure testing, so these uh, this finding is in line with the the um, brain activation measured with functional MRI. So in this model, we see the the brain activation in the insular cortex and also the the sing singlet cortex, and that these activation was. Uh, reduced with morphine, but with the 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 pregabalin, the 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 brain activation in the insular cortex was not uh, reduced, which means that the insular cortex is more uh, related to the pain uh, associated um, pain pain perception. Then finally, we uh, also look at the um, oxaloplatin induced peripheral neuropathy model. So in this model, we induced the cold aldenia 
uh, by injecting oxaliplatin into the uh, the animal. So in this model, we assess the pain behavior, pain associated behavior with um, so-called tail immersion testing, where the tail of the animal was immersed into the cold water, and the the avoidance response was uh, the 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 withdrawal latency to the the avoidance uh, response was recorded as a uh, measurement for pain. So when animals were injected with oxaliplatin, the withdrawal latency was reduced, which means that animal is experiencing a pain, uh, as shown in the the graph here. And this behavior was uh, reversed with drugstin treatment, but not with pregabalin treatment. And this uh, behavioral testing, uh, results of behavioral testing, was um, uh, confirmed uh, in line with the um, the brain activation measured with functional MRI. So as you can see in the the middle uh, figure, uh, the the drugstin uh, it's, so in this model, uh, the, ins the brain activation in the insular cortex region was uh, observed, and the this activation was uh, reduced with duoxetin uh, treatment. But uh, pregabrin uh, failed to um, deactivate this region, which means, which in line with the um, the, the no effects of pregabrin in the in the behavioral testing. So to summary, uh, to summarize, uh, the the activation of unique uh, as well as common pain-related brain areas uh, appears uh, across non-human primate pain models. In this case, endometriosis, uh, post-operative pain, and uh, oxaliplatin-induced pain. And so the um, non-human primate brain activation could be used as an objective and preclinical marker of pain for various pain states. And, uh, and also, uh, these findings show that the non-invasive pain uh, brain imaging with, no, with functional MRI could also be used as an objective uh, marker of, of pain too. Uh, guide the development of analgesic drugs uh, and potentially to be used to screen um, more uh, promising uh, drug candidates to be tested in the clinical trial. Uh, thank you for your attention.